There is no escape. So I'm, I'm doing a horror game, a psychological one. Horror is not really my thing because I scream like a little girl. Truth be told, I might be one, but that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, um, it's a psychological horror, so I'm going to see what's going to go down. There is no escape. Play. Jane. Jane. Jane! I don't know how to say that. Jane, where are you? Okay. Jane, answer me. Jane. Whoa. Jane, wife. Jim, me. Good night, love. Wrong message. Okay. I didn't know I had enough game to get a wife, but I guess I do. Hi, honey. You need to take your medication right now. Oh. Is... Is this like... Is like she's not real? Or... Is this currently what's happening and I need medication? I'm on it actually like legit? Like she actually does exist and just telling me? You cannot miss your schedule. Also yesterday I saw that the medication was running low. So before I came from work I stopped by a pharmacy to get your medication. Yes, I did take my medication today. Also, yeah, if you wouldn't have seen them, the pills would be out by now. Hey, Jane's a real one, apparently. I was about to drive to the pharmacy. Thank you. I need to find my Jane. Where's my Jane? Is Jim looks like a reference to Jim's computer? You know, I always got your back. By the way, I visited the doctor today, and she said that you are not allowed to be in possession of a firearm whatsoever. Oh, okay. Is that has to be a reference to Jim. Is this Jim? Wait, is this the same people who made Jim's computer? Hold on. I had a nightmare again. I need to use the bathroom. Don't. Okay. Oh, it is inspired by Jim's computer, though. And Puppet Combo. So that's why it's Jim. And the fire I almost mentioned. Alright, well, we got our complimentary horror flashlight. Let's take that. Oh, this is inspired by Puppet Combo. Oh my god. Alright. Doctor's prescription. Dr. Emily Thompson, MD psychiatrist. Patient, Jim Burke, age 47. Diagnosis, schizophrenia, dementia, and depression. Medication. Fluoxetine, I don't know how to pronounce that. Fluoxetine? One pill daily, 10 milligrams. Risperidone, risperidone. Two pills daily, 10 milligrams each. Therapy, once a week, Tuesday at 4 p.m. Restrictions. For your safety and well-being, we advise against the possession of firearms. Date of invoice, 6-12-2003. All right. That was a, it's quite a bit ago, but I'm guessing it's 2003 right now. <laughs> Donate 10,000 Robux to get an Easter egg. I don't think I'm doing that. So what is this? It's like where you get your endings or rewards or something? There's Jane, our lovely wife. But he said he had a nightmare, so I'm guessing she's dead. I just realized, how is this computer working if it's not plugged in? Okay. Is that our computer company processor manufacturer? I don't know. I'm missing something. Yeah. And I'm missing something too. Happiness. Alright, let's go. Oh. Looks like some rats snuck into my house again. Eating a piece of bread. Yeah, I see some highlighted stuff. Janice Dev Studios presents. Fork. There is no escape. Yep, the I it truly isn't if it's maybe talking about the mental health stuff. Well, I mean not truly. Excuse me? Is that a wall just move? I think there's a wall there. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Hachis. Hachis Shakusama. Hachis. Hachis. Hachis Shakumasha. Hachis. 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 
Hachi Shaku. Hachi Shaku. <laughs> Wait. Hachi Shaku Sama. Hachi Shaku Sama? Eight feet tall? I hope I got that right. I'm so sorry. Alright, couch inspect. It looks like I left some food. Must be why the rats come. So, yeah, I'm already seeing on the. Some, um. Wait a second. I'm about to say, I'm already seeing some symptoms of depression and mental health stuff, so yeah. I would mean if it was not visible to your own eyes already. But what is this plug tamper? Bzzz. I don't know. Tamper the plug. What plug is on tamper? Was it this one? Because I can't interact with it anymore. I guess so. I really like the atmosphere of this game. Okay, we got one of these, these telephones. Call Jane. The number you dialed is not a working number. Please check the number and dial again. Yep, so I'm guessing she's dead. That's why her number no longer exists. Message 3. G-A-0-3-M-N G-A-G I already forgot I wasn't even paying attention completely until I realized it was a code it was, I miss you Jane I wish you were here Yep, she's dead It's gonna move now I'm, so, I'm sorry for you I, I love you I'm sorry for your loss, Jen But can we Can we move forward? Thank you Gone? Wear, protect, need. There's gun, there's numbers, and an eye. Lifeless. I must find the clock. I need to find the clock. It is coming for me. I just know it. I saw your eyes close. Wear. Door. I think that's what this is. Bathroom. This looks useful. Alright, so. May. So. I'm guessing this is hallucin. Some of these are hallucinations, the paintings. Because I don't see why we just have a picture of these ghosts and demons. <laughs> I don't know what I saw, but that noise alone scared me. I thought I died of a heart attack in real life. I don't remember the front door being barricaded with wooden planks it is coming gun where time is near who i saw him time clock rat entrance okay i'm guessing i need wood for that or something i don't know what that's supposed to be is that supposed to be like a ghost i cannot tell like a blanket ghost thing he was here i can remember she is still here she isn't gone Yeah, so we're going through it. Wooden plane, what is that? What? Is this a code? Uh, is this like encrypted or something? I must be too sleepy to read what the book cover says. I don't like what I'm hearing. Okay, God bless. Let's get that wooden plank and let's board up that hole. And I'm not talking about that type of hole. Okay, let's repair this. No more rats coming to eat my food that I left on the ground I'm gonna eat later. Should go to the bathroom. Yes, sir, I'm on it. Is that painting still here? That demon painting? Yep, and its eyes are still closed. Hello! Goodbye! Alright. Excuse me? Why did my bathroom turn into an endless hallway? Where am I? That's what I'd like to know too, Jim. Don't worry, Jim, I got your back. What is this place? 
Why is there blood everywhere? I must get out of here. Take the gun and shoot it. Where is the gun? Okay. This was my last drawing. Was your drawing as an outlet, Jim? Was this like a the thing you want to do? Something for therapy? You need to, Jim. You can keep drawing as an outlet. Here, oh, here's the gun. Are you sure? That's a good question. I'm gonna try it on without the gun first. Is anything gonna happen? Maybe I have to pick up the gun. Because this just really is going on and on. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Plants. <laughs> Plants me flowers. These flowers were for my wedding. How are they here? Whoa, what is going on? Oh, we're flashing back to our wedding day. This day meant a lot to me. I'm sure it did, Jim. But what happened? Did your wife die of natural causes or wreck? Something bad happened to her? I can still remember how these flowers smell like to this day. I'm guessing this is our sign whenever we're switching scenery. New memory unlocked. Wedding. Okay, let's continue. I sw I hope I'm heading the right way. But it looks like I have another long walk ahead of me. Oh. Hello? Old photograph. Hello? September 24th, 1998. This was taken by my grandfather's old photo camera. Okay. It looks lovely, Jim. Is anybody there? I hear you. Jane. March 17th, 1999. This was Jane's first car. And why do you... I am not real. What are you talking about? You're talking to me. Is this an auditory hallucination out too? In the metal vaults, on paths unknown. A twist of destiny. A fate was so shattered glass. A chorus of despair. Life's detour failed in a metal glare. Navigate the wreckage. Unravel the unknown. Is this some kind of sick puzzle? You know, Jim, I wish I could know too, because I'm not exactly that smart. July 24th, 1999. We were watching the sunset together. Answer me! Alright, so... Jim, I'd like to help you if this is some sort of sick puzzle, but... I'm not exactly the smartest. Is that me? Jim! It's me, Jim! Buddy old pal! How about we get out of here? You know, self-help and stuff? Come on. And he's gone. It's a bed. I can't take this anymore. I hate my life. I can't stand it anymore. All I do is sleep all day and do nothing else. Why is she not coming home? 
Why is my life like this? I didn't deserve this, Lord. I didn't deserve all three of these illnesses. I hate you. Uh, I really do. You betrayed me. I have a plan. I think I should do it. However, it was really hard to do. get myself to do it. Sorry. By the time you're reading this, you already know if I did it or not. Thank you for everything. You no, know, as much as I may not like to admit it, I felt that way so many times. Look behind you. There's something there. The note change. No. Okay. Did was it on the other wall? I want me to look at this wall. I'm just wasn't paying attention because I'm stupid. No. Oh, maybe I was right. She did die from a car crash. Investigate. There's blood inside the car. Is it Jane's blood? I should probably read the read the license plate. Danny, Danny, eight seven five three. That's kind of similar to Jane, but it's missing the A. Car accident. Yep. Jim, whatever. What uh, are you, did you? Is this like? Did you already do? Like, if this is the prequel, a fan prequel to Jim's computer, then I guess. He already went through this plan where he wrote down that paper. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Jane! You're dead, so leave me alone already, okay? God have mercy. I'm gonna die. My heart's stopping or something. Okay, so. I'm guessing this is so, sort of like, uh, maybe a path. A pathway of our mind. Things that we're thinking of visiting, remembering. There's no escape. There's the clock he's looking for though, Jim. I must find an escape. Is the gun supposed to be one that escapes? I know what I need to do. If I grabbed that gun, would I have just used it on myself? What am I going to do now? I didn't grab it. I can't wake up. I'm not. I'm not even real. I was never real. I'm not the one I always thought I was. I never had Jane. I never had a Jane. I never had my own home. Who am I? What am I? Jimmy, wake up. Come down for breakfast. The other kids are already full. Come on, you can't stay in your room all day. Now I realize who I truly am. I don't have a home. I've never had a home. 
I'm just a sick kid. I don't need anyone. Maybe I'm right. I'm just a kid who lives inside a mental health facility. I don't even have parents that can sit beside me. Why did I deserve this, Lord? All I ever wanted was a loving mother. Jimmy's diary. There is no escape. So that's what it said. Jimmy, come down for breakfast. Oh my god. So, no escape is basically him possibly being stuck in that mental health facility forever. Him basically being stuck in the same hell forever. And he cannot escape his, his mind, his feelings and emotions. And even some of the false memories he came up with that, that were conjured. I got the true ending, okay. But even the things that his mind conjured, I guess, he frightens him. Game by Janice V2. No, that was actually great. That's actually one of the better Roblox horror games, definitely. Actually a pretty good one. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna get the gun, even though I think I know what the ending's gonna be, just to see what happens. Jane and Emily from the beginning looked a bit similar. I mean, Jane, the supposed to be our wife, and then at the end, Emily, who I'm guessing is one of his caretakers, kind of looks similar. So maybe. Oh, so wait, that's why I grabbed the fork for earlier. It was uh. The tamp for the plug. So. I don't know. Maybe. Jane. Okay, so that's what it was earlier. Jane and Emily are kind of like. Warped. Like. Jane, the false. The false memory. Alright, nope. I still can't read it. But maybe Jane the Foster Memory took on Emily's uh, appearance. Because I guess maybe she's the closest thing he's had to a mother or uh, anyone that's loved him. Yep, I'm sorry, Jim, but I've got to do it. Well, I don't have to, but I'm going to. Because curiosity is getting the better of me. I'm sorry, Jim. I forgot about that one so much. I didn't make a noise, but I felt my my body had its soul just my soul just flew out of my body for a second there. Jesus Christ. Well, but anyways, besides me almost dying, Jim, uh, I'm afraid. Yep, here we are. Yep, I'm sorry, Jim. I'm afraid. I know what's gonna happen. I must protect myself. Oh. Okay. Yep, here we go. I must find an escape. Jim Berkey. 1995-2006. 1955, I mean, cause of death, suicide. Jim suffered from severe schizophrenia, depression, and dementia. It is theorized that Jim had an episode which led to his suicide. And Jane Berkey, 1959-2003, cause of death, vehicle accident. Jane Berkey will always be. There is no escape.
So maybe okay. So then this ending it actually is the it's the bad ending. So I am so confused probably because I am not good at putting things together. But uh, yeah, I don't know. The true ending, apparently he's a kid in a mental facility, a mental health facility, even maybe not even a kid, just calls him a kid. And Jane never existed. So, which I mean, I know I don't think it's made by the same people that made uh, Jim's computer. It's uh, just a fan-made game, I'm assuming. Which is still good. But... Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. I liked it. I liked how uh, it delved into some mental stuff and how it talked about, you know, people that believe in, like, God or something like that and how they get frustrated with him if if, if he does exist for the people that believe that he truly does exist. But, yeah, I really liked the game. I mean, those better horror games on Roblox. I really liked it. I recommend you check it out because the link's going to be in the description if anyone's got this far. Play it for yourself. But yeah. Goodbye. Call Jane. I'm over here stroking my dick.